Another thing that they'll do, right? Uh, energy vampires will do is they'll argue. They like to argue a lot. <clears throat> Arguing people, a lot of the time, toxic women will, toxic women will argue with you to bond with you, right? To bring the emotions out of you. They feel, you know, they feel, they feel something, right? And something, feeling something, whether it's positive or negative, it's better than feeling nothing. So they'd rather a negative connection to you versus no connection to you. And a lot of the times, the easiest way to get that out of, the per of a person is arguing and drama, right? Arguing drains you of your energy. It drains you of your energy. And the person who was seeking the connection and seeking to argue with you, they get energy from it. You see what I'm saying? So you drain, you tired, you stress, you can't think, you can't, you know, prioritize because you worried about this chick. You you trying to come up with, you know, ideas or you got something to do for your business, but you can't because your mind is on the argument. Your mind is on on you being mad or your mind is on how she tried you or how she disrespected you or how she what the things she the negative things she said during the argument. It you, it's draining and eventually you become tired and stressed. You see what I'm saying? But they cool, they kicking on because that's the type of energy they wanted, right? And again, the, a lot of the times, energy vampire women would rather negative energy than no energy. You see what I'm saying? And it's way easier for them to get, it's, easy, it's easier for a person to piss you off than it is for them to please you, truly please you, right? At least that's what they think. Because to please you, they have to change. They have to, they have to, when you please a person, you have to step outside of yourself. And energy vampires are typically selfish. So that's a hard thing to do, to step outside of yourself, to please a person, right? It's hard to do that. And so the easiest way to to to, to get that energy from you wouldn't be to, to them, it wouldn't be to please you, right? Because if you please a person, you can bond with them. But they got to step outside of themselves and they're selfish. So the easy way is to argue and, and, and create drama and conflict. And this brings the emotions out of you and these negative emotions are better than no emotions right so it drains you it transfers energy when you drain you can't think you can't concentrate you can't focus you emotional you angry and shit all the fucking time you ain't gonna be able to to do the productive things to help you come up you see what i'm saying and it also you know this satisfies this attention that they seeking you see what i'm saying um and again just like, you know, negative emotions are better than no emotions. Negative attention is better than no attention to, to a lot of energy vampire people. You see what I'm saying? So in, in, instead of giving you positive energy and positive emotions, you know, in, instead of behaving in a way that they get these positive, this positive energy and these positive emotions, which is hard for a person like that, it's easier to get the, the negative energy. You see what I'm saying? While everyone complains about the state of the dating market, there's a small group of men who have answered the call. They reject the idea of surrendering to feminism, knowing everything they desire is out there waiting for them so long as they decide to get it. Men today have been led astray with half-truths, poor advice, and false narratives. They sit silently in pain, thinking something's wrong with them. Yet, they're unaware. They don't know how much power they actually have. Cause over here, guys of all ages are conquering women. They get real solutions to real problems because of real game. Sex. Submission. Intimacy. Servitude. Power. It can all be yours. <laughs>